Can it be expected that when one has dysautonomia, there will be changes in labs, like ferritin, indicating malabsorption due to G GI correlation? Beautiful question, and it's really important because it's a chicken or the egg problem. If you have POTS, or augmented uh, cerebrovascular function, trouble getting blood flow to your brain, then there's a probability that over time we're also going to develop some difficulties in getting blood flow to the gut and also being able to stimulate it appropriately as we know the brain is also controlling the gut. So one thing that often gets overlooked that is that over time we would expect that actually the function of the GI system which is very specific and very delicate will start to change as a function of losing the activity in the brain and we're going to see more leaky gut type symptoms, more sensitivity to different foods, difficulty with digestion, absorption, and elimination. So actually a change in nutritional levels or malnutrition just due to the fact that we don't have it as efficient of a gut is probably going to be on the table for most people. Does that mean that's everybody's thing? No. We can also see that sometimes the GI problems themselves, as that's working up, can start to affect the brain as well. So it's worth paying attention to which side we're looking at and not just getting focused on one or the other but looking at how that interaction is occurring and how they're winding up together.